actually, uh, first time here, uh, he actually wrote a film, or wrote a documentary, uh, it's, can, it's called Five Comics, so it should be coming out soon. Uh, so check that out. Uh, he was also, I didn't know this, he was also in a Halloween film as the doctor. So he was an extra. <laughs> so uh, please give it up for Mr. Johnny Korn. Hey, Los Angeles, how's everybody doing? Yeah, first off, give you all uh, yourselves a round of applause for supporting live comedy. I really do appreciate it. You know? uh, my name is Johnny Korn, uh, a little bit about me. Actually, before I go into that, um, how many, uh, if, if, if you're in a committed relationship, uh, make, make some noise. Okay. Since you're so loud, how, how long have you been in, together? Mark, you spoke it too loud. I'm sorry? A day. Okay. Give it up for them, a day! Can anybody beat that? Yes! Okay, more than a day. Okay, how long? Five years. Five years! Get around the clock, it's fantastic. Okay, now who can beat that? Five years. Seven years! Twenty, wait, 27 years? Awesome, get them around. The reason why I bring this up is because I've been with my wife for 29 years. It's true. Yeah, yeah, well. and 25 to life, it's a life sentence anyway. It's a, I'm just, maybe, maybe you guys, maybe I'm not. Uh, maybe you guys do the same thing we do. We celebrate two anniversaries, the anniversary of our first date and the anniversary of the day that we got married. Romantic, right? See, that way I'm guaranteed to get laid at least twice a year. <laughs> no, uh, but, but, but I, I did. I, lose, I lost control of the remote about the time that she moved in. So I'd watch her, but she's watching. She'd watch shows like uh, House Hunters International, which is fantastic, but things have changed. Now she's watching shows like Snapped. <laughs> Almost got away with it. Wives with knives. <laughs> She's trying to try to know. Should I be concerned? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, but it's true. She tells everybody that we've been together for 29 years because she's very proud of that. But she also tells people that, that she's 39. <laughs> she may be into a pervert, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, does anybody here lie about their age? No, no one's going to admit it, okay. I, I actually do. I, I lie about my age. I tell people that I'm 10 years older than I actually am. That way people compliment me, and I'll take the compliment because I'm shallow. No, but my real age, my real age is 49, which means next year I turn 50. And you know what happens when you're in your 50s? Anyone? Your AARP card. Yes, that's my license for me to do whatever I want. I can drive down Highway 1, what is it, well, Highway 99, with my left turn signal on, in my car, lane splitting, going 30 miles per hour for 20 miles. I'll get pulled over by a cop, and when that happens, I'll whip out my AARP card. That's what it's good for. Cops gonna look at it, look at me, look at it, look at me, look at it, look at me, and finally go, ah! Drive a little old, that's funny. You would have got away with this anyway because you're white. And oh. kind of like, back to me. Kind of <laughs> that's the first time I've had an applause break for that joke. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's true. Uh, not, not only that, I do have three older sisters. And, uh, and, and so I'm the oldest son. I have three older sisters. And you know what that means? Hand me downs. <laughs> I had purple uh, corduroy pants with no fly. I, I had a huffy uh, that, that was pink with tassels and a banana seat. Yeah, it's like my parents wanted me to get beaten up. It's just... But, but a little bit more about me, I was born uh, Irish and Catholic. 
And as a good Catholic, you have to give up something for Lent. So this year, I give up my New Year's resolution. Uh, no, I'm, I'm a true Catholic in that I go to church twice a year. <laughs> Christmas and Easter, for those of you who are going, what? But, but here's the thing, I, I mentioned the gospel, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I, I'm ADD and I have a hard time sitting still, so sitting still for a mass, that's hard. So what I do is I mention the gospel as if it took place today. I know it was like 2,000 years ago, so for, for example, there's a story about Barabbas or Jesus who's going to be set free by Pontius Pilate, who's going to let the crowd like, decide, right? But that was 2,000 years ago. So if it took place today, it'd be in the form of a reality show. <laughs> Here we go, something like this. I'm Pontius Pilate, your host, and welcome to Crucifixion, the show where you, the people, get to decide who gets to live and who gets to die. So let's meet our contestants. First, we have Barabbas Nefarious, up against Jesus H. Christ. Now, the H stands for Hubert, which is his middle name, a little trivia. So if you want Barabbas to live, then text to 666. Unless you're German, then it's 999. But hold your phone upside down if you're German. Phone lines will be open for another three hours. What's that? We have the results? Well, the West Coast student doesn't get the... Well, the West Coast student count anyway. Okay, so the person that's going to be set free is Barabbas. But Jesus, you got a consolation prize, and this week is death. But before we nail you, let's bring in the apostles and get one last song. Come on in, apostles. Now, I doubt Thomas will be here, and Judas is hanging outside, but we'll bring in the rest of the apostles. Come on in. I'm Pontius Pilate reminding you, I'm washing my hands of this whole show, so fill in for me next week, it will be Ryan Seacrest. Until then, <laughs> peace out. And then Jesus is sitting there going like, I don't like reality shows. Am, am I alone in this? But here's the thing, the best thing about being Catholic is, is that you got uh, holidays off from school. If it was a Catholic holiday, you got it off from school. And it didn't matter how stupid the holiday was either. A good example of a stupid holiday, Columbus Day. Columbus gets a holiday for getting lost. He's trying to find his spice route to India, ends up in the Caribbean. Typical man didn't ask directions. All he had to do, go into any 7-Eleven, they could have told him where India was. Personally, I want to come up with the Columbus GPS. It will send you where you never intended to go. And Uber will obviously use it. It's our operating system, this one. Now, now a holiday that isn't religious, uh, but it doesn't make any sense is Thanksgiving. Now, don't get me wrong. Thanksgiving, great holiday. You need to reflect on what you have. I think it's important. It's fantastic. But it's also a holiday about these white people. That's the basis. It's always about white people, isn't it? It's about these white people. Here's the story. It's about these white people. They move into the neighborhood, changing it forever, but their normal foods are sprouts. So, they, so the white people, they're starving. And the Indian people, they felt sorry for them, so they broke bread at the very same table. And you know what they say? Once you feed them, they'll never go away. And that's why white people are here to this day. <laughs> but we never talk about the second Thanksgiving, right? The second Thanksgiving is when the Indian people, or Indian people are cold and the white people get blankets. Too soon for a smallpox joke, okay. <laughs> it's only been 2,000, no it hasn't, 200 years since the Trail of Tears. Okay, I'll move on to Christmas. Any parents here? Any parents here? Make some noise if you're a parent. Now this is for you all, okay? You tell people, you, you tell your kids, don't talk to strangers. And then you sit them on Santa's lap and you wonder why they're crying. <laughs> Is it that is because Santa's just a wee bit creepy? I mean, who else can get away with saying stuff like, sit on my lap with a girl and tell Santa what you really want. Have you been naughty? Do you want to be my nice listener? Are you, uh, ho, ho, ho. do you want me to fill your stocking with something yummy? You know, I've been watching you. I know when you're sleeping. And I know when you're awake. It's creepy, right? It's almost as creepy as Donald Trump. I'm telling you. No, Kefefe. Kefefe is Donald Trump's safe word. That's all I'm saying. And if you don't believe me, ask Ibaka. That's all I'm saying. 
Now we legalized pot this in California the same year. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Give it up for pot. We legalized pot the same year that Trump got elected, which means we in California know how we're going to get through the next four years. Because of this, I'm going to do some stoner moments in history. Stoner moments in history. Benjamin Franklin. Dude, you know it would be a good idea for me to fly a kite in this lightning storm? <laughs> Stronger moments in history, Caesar Augustus. Dude, I'm going to take it a date from February, put it in August, making August and July the same, like the time and screwing over February. But that's okay, it'll be Black History Month in 2,000 years. Ha ha ha! Stronger moments in history, Jesus Christ, part one. <laughs> Dude, you know it'd be messed up if I told people I was born on the same day every year and I rose from the dead a different day every year. <laughs> Stone moments in history? Jesus Christ part two. Dude, you know it'd be a great idea for me to tell everybody I'm the Messiah and let's see how long we can keep this joke going. It won't last more than a millennium. <laughs> Stoner moments in history? Julius Caesar. Oh, Brutus, that hurt! And one more. Stoner moments in history? Abraham Lincoln. You know what would be a good idea? For you to go to the theater tonight. You guys have been an awesome audience. Group hug. so awesome. I have a timeshare and you're all invited to come see me after the show. I'll tell you all about it. I'll give you some details. Uh, I have good news and bad news. Good news, I got a really good deal. It's in Syria. No, the good news it was only bombed once. Right, so it has most of his walls. And it's a hot climate, so you get a nice cross draft. And the added benefit, the crater, becomes, when it rains, it becomes a swimming pool. ISIS is an acronym. It stands for Islamic State in Syria. But it's also the name of a badass Egyptian goddess, right? So for a group that's so anti-woman, it's funny they name themselves after one. I will leave you guys with this top of the day. The best protection against identity theft is bad credit. I'm Johnny Clark. Have a great tomorrow. Thank you. Get a roll for, get a roll for All the way from the Bay Area.